Hello everyone. Have you watched the part 1 online distance learning lecture? If you have any inquiries regarding with our first part of the online distance learning lecture, please write down your questions. I will help you to answer all the questions at the end of this class. We will have a queue and a session via Google Meet. Okay, now let's start our part 2 lecture session. In part 2, I am going to explain about failures in steel beam. Buckling is the event where a beam spontaneously bends from straight to curved under a compressive load. This picture shows the buckling of a beam with equal but opposite end moments. As what you can see, this picture shows a buckled shape of a built-in cantilever. Under the unloaded position, the symmetrical I beam is straight. However, once the loads were applied at the end of the cantilever beam, you can observe that the cantilever beam is buckled to this position. Local buckling is the buckling of the plate elements of the cross section under compression shear. Local buckling may take place before the overall beam failure, bilateral buckling, or yielding. As you can see, the local buckling phenomenon is only occurred at either flange or web of the steel beam. Actions on steel beam can be categorized into two. The first is a concentrated actions, which distribute from secondary beams and columns, as highlighted in the slide. Laterally restrained beams are beams that does not fail by lateral torsional buckling. Point number two provide you the list of how beam can be laterally restrained. This picture shows an example of the fully laterally restrained beam. The lateral restraint to the compression flange of a beam prevents a sideways movement of the flange. OK class, can you name the type of restrained beam shows in this picture? And how about this picture? Can you name the type of restrained beam shows in this picture? And, can you describe, what are the difference between this picture, when you compared it with the previous restrained beam conditions shows in the previous pictures? I would like you to prepare with the answer, and we will discuss during the face-to-face -face online session, at the end of this class. Alright, here are the list of the possible failure modes for laterally restrained beams condition. With the aid of figures, can you explain each of the failure modes? Previously, I have explained to you the behavior of laterally restrained beam. Now, let's talk about the failure behavior of the laterally unrestrained beam. An unrestrained beam is susceptible to lateral torsional buckling. Lateral torsional buckling, LTB, is the combined lateral sideways deflection and twisting of an unrestrained member, subject to bending about its major axis, as shown in the next figure. The picture shows the LTB buckling phenomenon. In an unrestrained beam, we can see that the beam not only involves downwards displacement, but also lateral sideways displacement and torsion twisting. 